I'm making this video because several years ago I gave a test to my class and pretty much all of them got a question wrong. And the question is very simple, it said how can you use a couple of set squares to measure the diameter of a marble and the reason they got it wrong was because they didn't know what a set square was. So the set square is just this kind of triangular thing with a right angle at the bottom and it's got three main uses in physics. First of all we can use it to draw parallel lines uh, if you move it along a ruler but probably more importantly is that you can use two of them together to measure the diameter of round objects. And if you put the two set squares on a ruler on each side of the object, you can then take measurements for the start and the end and then work out the diameter. But probably the most important use is if you're trying to actually do a practical and if you're trying to measure very accurately the height of something. So if you have your meter stick, when you put it on something like maybe the desk, is it actually vertical or is it slightly to one side? And the way that we can solve this is if you maybe clamp your metre stick in, in a retort stand, if you then get your uh, set square, you can put it to the side to make sure it is actually vertical. And then you take the set square and you put it at 90 degrees. And this is to make sure that even though it might be vertical in this direction, it might be still tilted forwards or backwards. So you then use the set square once again. And once you've taken those two things, you can then make sure that this is definitely vertical, which means when you're measuring height, you get a very accurate answer. So that is a set square, pretty straightforward, pretty simple to use, but it's something that is worth having in your pencil case or making sure that you do use when it comes to practical work in GCSE physics. 